glistening from above on a beautiful day here in South Florida. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Well, it may be hard to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. I think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Kevin, back to you. A lot of depth in there, David. Thank you for that one. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James Harden. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Look at the 76ers starting group. Down on the block, it's Harris and MB. Jake Milton is out there with Harden, and it's Korkmaz in at the three, the small forward. And for the Heat, out in the wings for them, Hero and Butler. Sam Adebayo is out there with Dwayne Dedman, and it's Lowry in at the point. And the NBA with the long regular season, as we all know, are there things, Chris, that can make the season seem even longer or shorter for that man? Well, it, it depends. Uh, are you losing? Are you winning? Are you not seeing eye to eye? Uh, that's when the season really can drag on. Uh, when you're winning, <laughs> like the cliche says, time flies when you're having fun. It's true. Now, Hero for the three. Lowry well, we can't get it to go. Here's Milton. Down low. Here's Harris. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Uh, an aggressive move by Harris. A little contact there. He just powers through it. To the inside. Butler passes to Autobio. Shoots over Embiid. Almost, but it rolls out. Milton with it. Boy, he was something else against Boston. Here's Harden. He drains it from the right block. Oh, what a beautiful, wonderful, exceptional, pretty jump shot from Harden. He burns guys with his masterful jumper. Now here is Lowry. His last outing with 20 points. The pass to Deadman. And here is Hero. Three-pointer, Lowry. Good on the triple. And those reflexes never let Lowry down. He, he was primed for that shot. Now, here is Harden. He's covered by Hero. Harris kicks to Harden. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. For Miami, they've gone 1 of 3 from the field to start this one so far. Well, they're passing to Deadman. Hero on the wing, guarded by Harden. Down to five on the shot clock. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now he's got five points so far. And, and try and name a six-footer who likes to operate inside more than Lowry. He is a beast. Here's Harden. They get the rebound and out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. While we have a moment here, let's reveal the teams that have been holding opponents to the fewest points this month. The 76ers third. Uh, the energy they're playing with on the defensive end has it, just been tremendous over the past month. I mean, challenging every shot, making things hard on every opponent. And really an incredible playmaker his entire career. But Harden has taken that up a notch. And he now often looks for his teammates first. Now here's Harden. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Loads it up for Adebayo. And that's just smart basketball. Lowry reading the overcommitment and just whipping the ball to the open man. To end the run. And Bailey trying to break loose. He lays it in. And huge assist totals for Harden, which is also a reflection, Greg, of the talent around him. And he's played with some of the best finishers in the game throughout his career. 
What changed starting last year uh, was his mindset, making him all that much more difficult to defend. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you have to bring much faster help than that. And Zawawi will bring it up for the Heat. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia, where they were able to handle the 76ers. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Well, it tells you a lot about who's the more aggressive team. I mean, they should have that same exact attitude tonight. Harris dishes to Harden. The three. Knocks down the three ball. Harden's got five points so far. Uh, the unique lefty stroke of Harden. He's become incredibly consistent from deep. Five points in the game. Pass to Adebayo. Now Hero. It's hauled in by Harris. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. It's Harden with the drive and the jam by Harden. But when Harden sees a clear lane to the hoop, just move out the way. He jumps on it so relentless in how he exploits open space. Miami's gone 102 from long range in the first quarter. Lowry passes to Autobio. From outside the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. They just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. Now, here is Harden. 17 points for him last game against Boston. Yeah, as good of a score as he was in that game, he was even a better passer. A lot of assists for him. Adebayo, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Bam Adebayo, picked 14th in the 2017 draft, has made huge improvements throughout his career. Guy is a hard worker. And he makes the first. And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. And Adebayo drops them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Hilton the pass to Harden. Kicks it to Embiid. Shoots over Hero. Harris outside. Four on the clock. Hits the three-point bomb. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. Uh, this is what the play's designed to do. Space the floor. Get Harris the look that he likes. Here's Lowry. Five points in the game. Pass to Hero. Back to Lowry. There's the pass to Hero. Miami no good on that time either. Playing the revenge car right there. Trying to get those three points right back. Didn't work. Harris right side. And slam dunk by Harris. He's terrific at finding the open man. I mean, good awareness from the floor. From the combo guard. Hard. 
The Heat trail by five. Now, here's Lowry. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Here's Butler. Lays it up off the glass. Butler's got his third basket of the night. For the Heat, their last game, a loss to the Hawks. Passes it to Embiid. Harden outside. Back to Embiid. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's the three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Embiid's got five. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Here's Hero. They get it back. That's good by Deadman. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Now, here's Milton. He's guarded closely. Back to Harden. Shot clock at six. Pass to Embiid. Over Adebayo. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the touch Embiid has on his jumper, I mean, looking so soft and accurate, coming out of his hands. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And that was a shocker. Hard to believe that they dropped the ball, so to speak, on that one. And probably a tough pill for them to swallow. Well, it's just a reminder that nothing comes easy in the NBA. I don't care who you're facing. You're not going to win if you're not at your best. Here's what Miami's going with right now. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Victor Oladipo comes in for Buck. Robinson is subbed in for Tyler Hero. Philadelphia also making some changes. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Embiid. Millsap comes in for Harris. And it's Green in for Corkmiles. Here's Milton. After the made shot from Kyle Lowry. The deep three from Harden. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. The Heat trail by four. And it's sent back by Millsap. And Millsap, for his size, a pretty good rim protector. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Martin's checked in for Kyle Lowry. On defense, the 76ers. Oladipo with the ball. He's picked up by Jordan. Puts up a three. Here's Adebayo. Here's Tucker. And it's sent back by Millsap. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Second shot opportunity. Philadelphia leading by four. The drive by Green over Martin. Green, no luck. Knocked away and stolen by Jordan. He kicks it to Millsap. Nailed from three-point land. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Autobio. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Adebayo's got six points. And inside is where Bam is at his best. He knows how to outwork the other guys in the paint. Millsap passes to Harden. Back to Millsap. And it's slammed in by Millsap. What an exquisite playmaker, especially in the pick and roll. Harden, he's as good as it gets. Here's Oladipo. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Yeah, but it wasn't all about himself. I mean, he kept everybody else in the loop. His passing was tremendous. All oh, the officials are all over that one. For Miami, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both.
First free throw is good. How about during his third season, Bam Adebayo took the leap, named an all-star for the first time. Bam was huge in the 2020 bubble, helping the Heat reach the NBA Finals. He's off on the second. Philadelphia leading by six. The three from Harden. And Oladipo pulls it down. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's his first foul. The Heat making a switch here. Morris has checked in. Oladipo with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And Tucker kicks to Robinson. And the three off target. It's stolen by Morris. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And here is Milton. Looking in his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. To the wing on the left. And here's Millsap from the arc. And the 76ers get it back. The three from Harden. And it's good assisting on the play with Jordan. Ten points for James Harden. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the deep struggling to keep up. The Heat trail by nine. Up top, Oladipo. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Now, here's Milton. One thirty-seven left here in the opening quarter. Back to Green. Just five on the clock. From deep. Harden, no good. Miami's gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started tonight. Morris against Jordan. Oladipo dishes to Robinson. And the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. The 76ers making a switch here. Eibel's checked in. Outside, Mark. Six to shoot. Robinson for three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Jordan's got five rebounds tonight. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Fifty-two seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Al Harden, ten points for him. Jordan finds Green. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Millsap. It's hauled in by the Heat. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Oladipo against Harden. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The 76ers leading by seven. Jordan at the elbow. Takes a three, and Green with the basket on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got three assists tonight. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Philadelphia ahead, leading by 10. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. And Kyle Lowry, always one of the league's leaders in charges drawn, he sheds light on the significance of that play. It's a real life momentum shift. You know, it really boosts myself, my team, and it really takes a lot from the other guys because they think they have a play, a dunk, a pass, an assist, or something. 
And it's like, no, that's not there. And it's a foul on the other guy, maybe the star player, maybe the shot blocker, maybe anybody. And that's what I do. I do whatever it takes to help my team win. And for Lowry, all of six feet tall to absorb those collisions, sacrificing his body, it shows what he's all about. And like he said, whatever it takes to win, that pit bull mentality, and he's got the strength to weather the physicality. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the 76ers. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. They've got Oladipo. Martin is out there with Morris. Then it's P.J. Tucker. And it's Robinson in at the shooting guard position. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. First one falls for him. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Greg, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents. And not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play without it, Steph's at the top of your lead list. But... Then you get a guy like Chris Paul, who I think is as good as anybody's ever been in the pick and roll. So they're, they're just different ways to approach this thing. And, of course, now I've forgotten four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got seven rebounds in the game. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, the Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can get back there. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? What a great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. From deep green, tries again. A second chance effort. And Jordan with a nice inside bucket. Jordan's got four points this quarter. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive rebounders in the league. To the paint. Here's Robinson. Gets that one to drop. First one of the game after four straight misses. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Millsaps against Morris. Millsap kicks to Harden. Driving in. They get it back. Second chance shot. And Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got his third basket of the night right there. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. And the Heat call time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. Korkmaz comes in for Green. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Butler. Lowry looking around. Now here's Deadman. Defended by Thibel. Jordan the pass to Korkmaz. In the corner. Harden. Back to Gorkmas. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight.
Now, Hero. He's coming off a 22-point game against Atlanta. They get a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Morris kicks to love. That's the free fly. That's good. And it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Korkmaz. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The Heat trail by 18. The pass to Hero. Back to Lowry. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Butler on the wing. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Butler's got eight. A, a confident spot-up shooter. Butler's what I call instant offense. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come. And Zalawi will bring it up for Miami. It's an 18-point game. Hero passes to Lowry. Passes it to Deadman. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Korkmaz, defended by Butler. Here's Harden on the wing. Pass to Korkmaz. Six on the shot clock. Dives for it, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. Autobio is checked in for Miami. Here is Harden. Ten points for him. To the middle, Jordan. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And it's eight points for Jordan. And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way. But it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Now a timeout called by Miami. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. And they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. The Heat trail by 20. Hero with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Misses from short range. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Korkma is no good. He's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Go, go, go. Lowry against Embiid. Hero from long range. It's hauled in by Harris. The 76ers leading by 20. Inside. The fadeaway. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Harden. Embiid's got nine. Oh, man. He's a polished interior player. I love seeing Embiid establish himself down low and then go to work. Pass the button. Good ball movement here by the Heat. A shot by Lowry, no good. 76ers have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. It's Korkmaz in the corner. Trills the three-pointer. Korkmaz has got 10 points in the quarter. That's his second three-pointer of this quarter after not getting any in the first. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Hero passes to Lowry. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. 
He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Harden outside to the inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Well, it's all about the fun-loving personality of Embiid because it's just awesome. I mean, this guy likes to have fun on and off the court. <laughs> and when you bring up the process to Embiid, he just says it's an ongoing thing. Yeah, he's explained it a few times. I mean, it's a process for making the playoffs, then another one for the conference finals, then another one Take just to break. go to the Take finals. That doesn't even have you winning a ring yet. <laughs> The free throw drops for MB. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Last season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And, Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50-40-90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. Full effort from Butler on the putback. The rare wing who will hit the offensive boards. And there's the pass to Harris to the paint and the dunk by MB. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. And Zolawi will bring it up for Miami. To the middle and stolen by Thibel. And here comes Harden leading the fast break. Pass to Thibel. On the wing, Harris. Deadman defending. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Shake Milton, he's checked in for James Harden. Harris looking it over. Just five to shoot. And Bede kicks to Thibel. Ball's knocked loose. Well, if you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time down. And stolen by Feibel. Here's MB and the dunk by MB. Proving once again how dominant he is. I mean, once MB gets rolling, it's like an avalanche. Here's Lowry. He's got 12. Loads it up for Butler. The alley you play a very well done. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Milton the pass to Harris. Five to shoot. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And here's Lowry. Pass to Hero. He dishes it to Butler. Outside Lowry. The kick outside to Butler. Offensive rebound. Deadman. It's deflected. They get it back. There's Hero with a three. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And this is the level of intensity Adebayo brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. It's Korkmaz in the corner. Shoots over Hero. No good off the back of the rim. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Butler kicks to Adebayo. And one of the more active big men in our league. Adebayo never stops working. 
And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And just a top-notch free throw shooter this year. All the way up there at 88%. Free throw good out of bio. And some changes here for the 76ers. George Niang, he's checked in for Embiid. Millsap comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's green and four Korkmaz. He makes one of two that time. Philadelphia's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Here's Green. He sinks the 11-footer. Green's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist by Oladipo. 14 points for Kyle Lowry. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. And the wide open shot from Green. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. 135 left to play in the first half. Lowry against Green. Outside for Martin. Trying his what from deep. No good that time. And it's Philadelphia the other way. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Aston Yang puts it up. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Miami's gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Oh, nice drive by Lowry. Cutting the defense to pieces and then getting himself open for a look. Milton finds Green. Back to Milton. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The Heat shooting 40% from the field. Lowry passes to Autobio. The kick out to Oladipo. Trying to get open is Autobio. And Victor Oladipo hits from deep. Oladipo's got five now. Well, opponents worry about Oladipo's quickness attacking the basket, which really helps him create good looks from the perimeter. Now, here's Milton. Defense is right there. A difficult situation for Miami. Up top, Oladipo. Guarded by Harris. The shot by Autobio, no good. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. A big-time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, the reserves have been a big story. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've gotten a stop, so we're going to need them to keep it going. We'll see if they can close it out in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Joel Embiid having an outstanding game. He ended up with 15 points, two assists, and four rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Their effort on the glass, absolutely key to setting the tone. They wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they wanted to dominate on both ends. A really terrific performance thus far. 
And over to Shaq. What'd you think about Miami? They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. I hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. If they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half, it's going to be a long ride home. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Kyle Lowry has just been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And so, in the game for the 76ers, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Harden out there with Shake Milton. And it's Cork Miles in at the three. Harden finds Harris. Embiid trying to break loose. Off target with his three. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Heat. Butler goes in. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Driving the lane. Count it. Good. And 12 points for James Harden. Uh, I mean, you have to really admire the skill set that Harden has. I mean, he's just handling the ball. He's decimating the D with his number of moves. The pass to Hero. Adebayo against Embiid. Adebayo kicks to Butler. Outside for Lowry. Beyond the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Down low. Here's Embiid. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Uh, such a force of nature inside. I love how hard B goes to pick up these fouls. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? The first free throw is good. B drops them both. Now Lowry. He's got 16. Kicks to Butler. Third quarter of basketball. About a minute and a half in. A stalwart on the defensive end. And B the superb at making his presence felt with blocks like that. Hero on the wing. Here's Deadman. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Deadman's got his second bucket. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. And maybe we don't talk enough about what a great teammate Lowry is. Passionate. He leads by example and always vocal. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. And that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Passes to Butler. Pass to Autobio. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. That's 12 points for Bam Autobio. When Lowry won gold in 2016, the U.S. team coaches had very high praise. Yeah, you, you can call him their unsung hero. The best team player out of anybody. This guy shows emotion and guys feed off 
his energy. And Embiid throws it down. Oh, I love how Embiid ran the floor there. I mean, he, he found his spot and finished strong. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Now, Hero, guarded by Harden. Adebayo passes to Hero. Lowry fires away from outside. And it's off from three-point range. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Heat have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Pass to Hero. Pocket six. Stolen by Harden. Here's Embiid. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Uh, the height, quickness, the mobility uh, of Embiid, uh, what he possesses, uh, it, it's just amazing. He's daring the defense to whack him. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The free throw drops for MB. A different look for Miami. Markeith Morris is checked in for Dwayne Dedman. Robinson is subbed in for Butler. And MB drops them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Hero passes to Lowry. Miami with a new 14. The shot by Autobio, no good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Harden scanning the floor. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Harden. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. Now, Hero. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. In the corner, it's Robinson. The pass to Autobio. Hero with it. Shot clock at six. Outside for Robinson. Krills it from outside. Robinson's got five now. And what can Adebayo do? I mean, gets the tough rebounds, scores the tough baskets, and then makes the right pass. Now, here's Milton. D right on him. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying them offensively. Here's Robinson. Five points in the game. Bangs home the trifecta. And that's now 19 points for Kyle Lowry. He logs his first three of the second half after nailing two in the first. They don't want to let this fella get going. Out left to the wing. Back to Harden. 76ers moving the ball around. And that one's good. Quirk Miles. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> and let's talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Hero with it. He's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet. It's stolen by Harris. Lobbed up there for Embiid. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. But the chemistry Embiid has with his guys. I mean, he seems to know exactly when to go for these alley-oops. And it's the Heat with the ball. And here's Lowry. He's got 19. 
Adebayo finds Hero. Over Harden. And the rejection by Harden. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. In the corner, it's Harris. From the arc. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Miami. Passes it to Autobio. Fires from 14. Off the left rim and out. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. The mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the D playing soft like that. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. Some changes for Philadelphia. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Tobias Harris. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Korkmaz. Harden outside. Over to the left wing. Fades. Jordan inside. Morris is there. Miami's gone 2 of 5 with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Martin with the bucket. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Philadelphia has gone 1 of 4 in three-point shots here in the third. And there's the feed to Jordan. It's stolen by Morris. Oladipo outside. And there's the drive. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got his sixth rebound on the night. Embiid drives in. Thibel on the wing. Embiid trying to break loose. And Matisse Thibel gets the three. Thibel's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Miami's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. And Tucker kicks to Martin. Oladipo dishes to Martin. Pass to Tucker. Robinson on the wing. Tucker finds Robinson. Six to shoot. Over Harden. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And Embiid throws it down. I love how the big man slips after setting the screen. Embiid, solid at creating opportunities for himself off these sets. And uh, Miami shooting 31% here in the third. Offensively, they are looking bleak. Pass to Tucker. That shot off. Great D that time from Jordan. Now, Thibel, left side Jordan. In the corner, Harden. And it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan's got four assists in the game. The Heat shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Here's Robinson. That one's off, still out of sync. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Now the pass to Thibel. Here's Harden on the wing. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. And it's the Heat with the ball. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Robinson for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Now, here's Thibel. Jordan, the pass to Thibel. The dish to Harden. Releases from 15. Here's Jordan. Pass to Milton. Right wing. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Uh, appreciate the effort, though, making his presence felt defensively. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And, and this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And the 76ers with some changes. George Niang, he's checked in for Embiid. Millsap comes in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in for Shake Milton. Oh, 
Clock at six. Jordan finds Green. His three-pointer is off the mark. Miami's on three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. And certain guys post almost identical numbers year after year. Danny Green is one of them. Hey, Greg, I mean, the production has been very consistent since his third season. But he also gives you intangibles. Toughness, deadly in the clutch. I mean, his coaches and teammates trust him alike. And it's the Heat with the ball. Tucker, the pass to Oladipo. Robinson dishes to Oladipo. Shot clock at three. The end of the drought. Robinson misses. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Harden against Morris. Millsap passes to Jordan. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. Jordan's got 10 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. 119 left in the third. Harden against Oladipo. To the paint. It's tipped. It's stolen by Green. To the inside, Jordan. And he uses the glass on the layup. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the 76ers. Well, they played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steals to prove it. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they've defended the rim. As they've challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. Quick fact for you guys. P.J. Tucker is the number one sneakerhead in the NBA. And it's not even close. The man owns hundreds and hundreds of kicks. In the 2018 playoffs, P.J. wore 22 different pairs of shoes in 17 games. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Wayne Dedman comes in for Markeith Morris. And it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Martin. Both free throws, good from Tucker. Well, someone who always seems to be in the right place at the right time, P.J. Tucker defines what it means to be a glue guy. Tipped away. Here's Niang, defended by Butler. Here's Millsap, and he lays it straight in. Nine points in the game so far. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Oladipo kicks to Robinson, dishes it to Butler. Over Jordan. And again, it's the Heat missing. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many of those. Harden outside. From deep three-point range. Offline. A few guys are as good as Jimmy Butler defensively. I mean, he plays with great intelligence and effort. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers able to put on a show for the ages. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. We'll return shortly. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Lowry on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Butler and Tucker up in the forward spots. Then it's Vincent, and it's Drews in a shooting guard. Outside Butler, just four to shoot. Here's Tucker. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And this is the level of unselfishness that Butler brings. A total pro who moves the ball well. Here's Springer. Pass to Niang. Nifty move. And the layup is good. 
And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The Heat shooting struggles apparent. 37% from the field. Vincent the pass to Butler. Here's Struess. You know, Chris, no one wants to see play stop for a coach's challenge. But is that inconvenience outweighed by ensuring it was the right call? It definitely is, Kevin. Uh, you know, we'd rather get the calls right than just be quick. Quality over quickness. So that's how I like to think. But, you know, definitely, you don't want those calls all the time. But, yeah, late in the game, you need it. Guys work too hard. Niang, that's good. Niang's got five points now this quarter. Uh, the man has no heart. And, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, indeed, like, that isn't going to get you back in the game. <laughs> You have to stay connected to these shooters. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. And Butler gets it to go. Yeah, Mid-range specialist. Butler just finds angles and space to shoot from there time and time again. Outside green. A three ball. Goes back up. And they call the foul, so he's got the Shots and good. one chance here to make it a three-point play. Shots good. Another good. bucket Shooting down good. low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And the 76ers making a change here. Joe's checked in. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate, and teams are never afraid to put him on the line. Basket counts. Vincent's got his first basket. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. Here's Springer. To the middle. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lengths at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Heat have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Struess. The rebound by Niang. Niang's got his fourth rebound in this one. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. Reed is checked in for the 76ers. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Joe. On the wing, Green. That, oh, oh, my oh, goodness. Where did that, that come from? That was beautiful. Wow. Good saving. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament especially from players. Where did you fall on that thinking? Well, I I'm going to put on my fan hat right now, Kevin. Right and I thought right it was lanes. exciting. I mean, One seeing shot. the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge, 
I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a bird. Philadelphia has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The pass to Niang. Here's Joe. Reed with it. Takes the three. Springer, good. Springer's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Vincent, the pass to Struess. He kicks it to Butler. Here's Tucker. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. The 76ers have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Passes to Reed. Here's Niang. And the 76ers tack on two more. A nice job taking what the defenders gave him. These guys need a gut check right now. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. Good saving. The kick outside to Butler. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. Oh, he uses good strength and body control to finish around the rim. Butler's a force around the basket. Pass to Green. Here's Springer. Here's Niang. Off target from three-point range. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Out of bounds, it'll be 76ers ball. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 9 on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Joe. It's stolen. To the left side wing. Inside, here's Tucker. And Greg, the league's in a great place for talent. So many incredible players just entering their primes. You excited where the league is right now headed? Oh my goodness, Kevin. Guys like Devin Booker and Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell. I mean, the list goes on and on. And a lot of these youngsters carrying their teams to great heights. Impressive to watch. That's good from Tucker. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Matisse Thibault checked in for Danny Green. That one is no good. Chris, you made the postseason all seven years with the Kings. Deep playoff runs, sensational play. Talk about the chemistry on those teams. Well, chemistry was very important, Kevin. I knew that being a leader of the team, that it was incumbent upon me to make sure all players felt comfortable. Not only that you would hold them accountable, but that you would include them. You know, we were a family. Shout out to all my fellas that I played with. I wanted to make them better. I hope I did, but they all made me better. Pass to Struess. Six on the shot clock. Good saving. Miami no good on that time either. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. And here now is Theibel to the wing right side. Joe gets the three-pointer to fall. Joe's got his first three points of the game. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. Well, as long as they're hitting like this, how can you blame them? They're on a tear. Here's Vincent and the pass to Lowry. Feeds it to Tucker. And the layup's good off the glass. Tucker's got five points in the quarter. 
I mean, I mean, look, it's evident that Tucker likes trying his luck inside. He has the size, weight, toughness, and touch to be effective. Here's Niang. And it's Thibel in the corner. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Reed. A three-pointer off the mark. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Lowry. Here's Tucker. And it's blocked. The 76ers have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. 8 of 12. Here's Springer. Fiebel on the wing. Passes it to Springer. Three-pointer. Buries it from three-point range. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Now Lowry. He takes it in. Lets it go from deep. And it's Reed pulling it down. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Here's Springer. And Greg, with recent legal results, more opportunities now for compensation for college athletes. Uh, do you like it? I do. I mean, there's enough money going around. I don't have a problem with the athletes getting a share, uh, especially with the amount of time and effort and energy they have to commit. Let's take care of the guys. Let them enjoy the collegian experience. Here's Struess. Reed covering. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. And the Heat with some changes. Morris comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Martin subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Here's Vincent. Five on the clock. He tries for three, and it's Martin missing. Philadelphia's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Here's Joe. Out to the wing. Pass to Springer. They get it again. Here's Niang. That one falls. Niang's got nine points here in the second half. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Here's Springer. Starting with the 2021 season, the G League welcomed the Ignite team. A few top prospects to join it, skip college. Uh, Chris, how do you like that? You know, I think it's great. I mean, getting 17, 18-year-olds into pro ball, uh, you, when you really know that's where they uh, want to end up. The grueling schedule is a huge adjustment. Uh, the physical aspect, eating right, working out, uh, time management, I, I think it's a great step to help you prepare for this tough league we call the NBA. Struz passes to Vincent. Pass to Struz. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Philadelphia dictating the flow. 152 left in the fourth quarter. Springer, the pass to Reed. To the left wing. To the wing on the left. Here's Springer. Cranes it from beyond the arc. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Vincent, the pass to Struis. Over to the wing. The tray. Rebound by the 76ers. 
Well, guys, this was never really a contest, just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Philadelphia. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And what a huge standout performance it was for Joel Embiid. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up tempo or slowing it down, but always scoring. Joe passes to Thibault. Here's the pass to Springer. Jacks up a three. That one misses. In transition, here comes Miami. Martin with the ball. Again, the miss by the Heat. Here's Joe. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. James, you had it going. How confident were you all offensively? I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I, honestly, if I got to score a lot of points tonight, teammates were making shots, they were playing hard. Um, it was a great team effort. I, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm going to do. Everyone was clicking tonight, man, and it showed. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.